Hello, I'm Bo Turner, and I want to introduce you to a, the task feature inside of Imagine It Clarity. So when we start to look at task, this is the ability to automate a lot of simple processes inside of Revit. Now, we've got different ways that we can look at these, and there's a good number of tasks that we can run. For example, we've got this list here. It includes everything from backing up the project to creating DGN files, DWF files, DWG, family image export, FBX, DBXML, and so many more. We're going to focus right now on generating a PDF. So rather than manually creating one and waiting for our machine to be able to process this for a sheet set, we can set this up and define it or copy it between multiple projects. We can tell it to target specific things like maybe uh, every model file inside of our Revit project. Or in my case, I only want to look at the architectural model. I can test this piece out and filter things out. I could go in here and give them post actions like running scripts on files, removing and copying files, posting things to FTP. I can make it launchable in the drop down at the very top like you see. There might be something that we want to be administrator only, as well as to be able to send email notifications. Once we set that up, now we can start defining different information here, like if there's a particular sheet set we want to apply this to, if there's a particular paper size we want to read from, as well as more information, including notes down at the bottom. Now notes is a spot where I might want to put something like created by, created on, or why something was created. So more for future reference. And then there's a frequency. It can be on demand just whenever you need to be able to pick that. It can be scheduled. So when you need this to be able to run on, let's say, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 o'clock in the morning, or it can just be whenever the file is synchronized to central, automatically kick this task off and run that piece. So we've got all this set up and defined for us. Now we can go ahead and create this task. And now it is available for us to be able to run. So I'm going to go ahead and pick two tasks here. I'm going to start with the DWF file. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the generate PDF sheet set, which is the one that we just created. Now I can manually kick this off like you see here. Since I'm a local coordinator for this, I have this access. Standard users will get this drop down at the top where we've got the Revit DB export available. They just pick from that drop down list. I can see the current tasks that are processing. I can give that just a moment. It'll finish running for us here. Now, once this piece has been completed, I can look back at completed tasks. I can also drill down inside of here. And when I say drill down, that gives me additional information. Not only can I see that the task was completed successfully, I could also see if there was an error or an issue. I can see how long that task took, as well as more information about that. Of course, during the entire process as this is happening, once I've generated these files, I have the ability not just to create those or copy them to other locations, but I can also view the generated information right inside of the Clarity environment. So if I've got a consultant or an owner or someone else who wants to be able to view this, they can see that. And of course, I also get email notifications giving me more information about that task.